here in the woods. Guess I was wrong. It's good to see ya. You know, sometimes I just need to get away from the big city. So I come out here to this lovely wilderness, surround myself with the bugs and the bees and the birds, and, uh, you know, sing kumbaya. And a girl's gotta eat. So I bring some of my favorite things out here, and uh, tonight I'm craving chili. So I'm gonna make myself a big pot of chili, and I'll show you how. Kumbaya. I've got my portable camp kitchen here set up. So let's get things started. I've got a big onion here. Now, this onion is gonna make me cry. So I'm not really gonna chop it. We've also got some peppers. And you see, you just gotta chop them up so they're small. Now it's very important before I go any further to tell you that when you're out here in the wild boonies, that you have a very, 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 very long, like mile long extension cord. I happen to have one right here. There we go. Now I'm good to go because I got my crock pot and it's gonna warm up. But you also need the garlic to keep the vampires away. <laughs> and you know, when you're in woods like this, you never know what's kicking around here. There could be a vampire around that tree over there. Anyways, we got our garlic and we're gonna chop that up. And we're also gonna add these lovely cherry tomatoes to the pot because I like a lot of vegetables in my chili. So sometimes I even do zucchini or perhaps more peppers or mushrooms. mushrooms. Anyways, it's all gonna go in the pot right now. Very, very important part of this meal is this little ingredient right here. This ingredient is bison, buffalo, whatever you wanna call it. They roam the range. Anyways, it's a lot leaner than regular beef, so I like to use it, and then you still get that like really hearty, beefy flavor without all the calories and the fat of regular beef. We stir it around and basically brown it and cook it up so the flavors all combine and it tastes lovely. And you know, normally I would have done this in a pot and then moved it to the, the slow cooker, but because I'm out in the wilderness where there possibly could be vampires, you know, I'm doing it in the crock pot. You know, you gotta use what you have. That's one of the things I love about chili, is that you can just, you know, take a can of tomato sauce right here, and you can add it to your chili. We're opening the can of tomatoes, preferably diced. We're gonna add these to the pot. So we've got two kinds of beans here. We've got black beans and kidney beans. And you know what? The important thing about beans that come in a can, you've gotta drain them and rinse them off because if you don't, they have that scummy, weirdy goo stuff on them. It's just really nasty, and you don't want to use that. One of the key things for this chili also is to thicken it. So you want to use a small can of tomato paste. So one of my favorite ingredients, of course, is the corn. It's been drained, but this doesn't have to be washed of goo, just drained. And we're gonna add it to the pot. A wise man once told me that chili powder ain't no joke. And I agree, because chili just isn't chili without chili powder. So, here we do it. About a tablespoon in you go, maybe a little bit extra. Salt. You can never have too much salt. They always say on the Food Network, make sure you salt the water. Well, this might not be water, but this is chili, and it's dang good chili. So put some salt in, and pepper. All right, guys, the key to a great bowl of campfire chili is a whole lot of waiting. and a little bit of love. So, I'm gonna let this simmer on low for a couple hours. You can let it sit overnight if you want it to. And I'll see you back in a bit for a great big bowl of chili. Kumbaya. I can't wait, I'm so hungry. All right, here's the moment of truth. It's been simmering long enough, it should taste good. And my favorite thing to finish off chili is sour cream. I've also got some cheese and some lovely, delightful chopped chives for some color. Mmm, good stuff. I did myself good. 
bye bye